Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. As always, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Today's rules are you must use the food given. You can only add to the food. You can buy whatever ingredients you wish. Okay, let's see what we are making fancy today. Drum rolls. <laughs> Canned tuna. Surprisingly for this show, I've had canned tuna a lot of times. I like canned tuna, especially if it's in olive oil. So good call, getting one I like. The one with like light chunk in water, I feel like it's too dry and it doesn't have any good flavor. So canned tuna has both strong smell and a strong flavor. So in order to make it fancy, I have to dial down both smell and flavor. Even though I like it, I haven't had it for a long time, so I want to try this. It's just like a cat food. I like it. This is a little bit drier than I remember, so I want to make texture a little bit better. I want to add some variety, and I want to make it prettier because people also eat with eyes, and that is gonna be most challenging part, I think. Okay, I've got some great ideas, and I'm so excited to make it fancy. Okay, here's what I got. Rice, Japanese mayo, radish. Salmon raw, chives, cucumber, serrano pepper, avocado, and caviar. From the pantry, I got sugar, steamy pepper, rice vinegar, sesame oil, chili oil, soy sauce, mirin, and sriracha. And one more thing, I got magnum sized sake. Let's get started. Make it fancy. So when you are making this dish, you want to make sure to choose short grain rice so it's easy to shape. One and two cups. I want to wash this rice and I'll be right back. Rice is washed. I'm adding a little bit less water than usual, so I'm using two cups of water. Soak rice for 20 to 30 minutes, but for now, I'm going on to next step. Going to make vinaigrette, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon salt, and a quarter cup of rice vinegar. Just combine everything together and mix well until salt and sugar dissolves. Good. My vinaigrette is done. We are going to use this later. So time for canned tuna. Slice some chives, save a few for later. You just want to chop like very finely. You don't want to have a big chunk of chives. Put into a bowl, can of tuna. Gonna drain a little bit of oil. This looks like cat food. I used to be a cat person, but I did a cat sitting for my friend. And the cats go crazy at night. They torn the curtain. Like whenever I move my feet, they try to attack it and I got scared. <laughs> I'm adding Japanese mayo. If you don't have Japanese mayo, you can use regular mayo, but this is what I like. Half tablespoon of sriracha, one teaspoon of chili oil, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. Start with a pinch of salt and shijimi pepper. This is Japanese pepper. Shijimi means like seven spices. It's not as spicy as cayenne pepper, but it kind of has a nice kick and chives, mix all it up. Sesame oil kind of mask the smell of canned tuna, which is very nice, and I wanna taste it. <laughs> Did I look like a kombucha girl? Like girl sip kombucha, and she was like. <laughs> I think it's a little bit more salt, but overall it's, Nice, it's a little bit spicy and tastes good. Cover with plastic and keep in the refrigerator until I use it. Next, I'm going to make sauce. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use sake a lot for my Japanese cooking, so someone very considerate got me a magnum sized sake. And it's very difficult to pour. <laughs> One tablespoon. I feel like I got a little bit more, but it doesn't hurt. And also, if you are shopping mirin, make sure to get home mirin. It's in Japanese. 
There is one called Aji Mirin. Don't buy that. That is just corn syrup. Usually it contains alcohol. This one is 8% alcohol. 8% is nothing. Whenever I buy sake or wine, they ask me ID. But whenever I buy Mirin, they never ask. So the reason I'm boiling this up one is make the sauce thicker and also evaporating alcohol so it's not too strong or it's safe to eat for underage people. <laughs> it thickens because mirin and sake has a sugar content so it kind of become a syrupy texture. I think it's good. My sauce is done and I'm going to next step. So rice is cooked and I'm going to mix the vinaigrette. I recommend to dip with water so it doesn't stick too much. Rice turns out very nice. So when you're making sushi rice, it's important to mix the vinegar mixture when rice is still hot. I'm adding little by little so it will mix nicely. Rice is seasoned. I'm going to shape this like a little Bowl. So I recommend you to dip your hands and shape it so it doesn't stick your hand. One portion is like two tablespoons. It's maybe size of golf ball, but it's a different <laughs> shape. Kind of shaping with your palm, like kind of coop your hands and push top. You don't want to squeeze too much because you don't want to eat mushy rice. This is not perfectly round. I think they are cute enough. Okay, I've got my rice balls, I'm on to next step. So I heated up oil for 350 and I'm going to fry rice ball I just made. This is not traditional Japanese sushi at all. This is something I had when I moved to LA and it was really good, so I want to recreate that. I'm doing four at a time and make sure it has a each space between it, otherwise it's gonna stick together and it's kind of become sushi centipede. <laughs> what I'm looking for is golden brown color. Because rice is already cooked, you don't need to worry about if it's cooking through. So just wanted to make sure everything is nice and golden brown. When you are kind of new to frying, you will be a little bit scared oil splashing, but that's kind of happens and it's not that bad. <laughs> you get used to it. It's painful, <laughs> just like for a second, but it doesn't last that long. Just like, uh, you know, when you break up, your heart aches for a bit and you will get used to it. It will get better. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this looks great. Nice color, look like giant tater tots. I'm going to try it. Nice crunch outside, inside it's still soft rice. Okay, on to the next step. I got my vegetables and I'm going to start with avocado. Just cut in half and squeeze lemon so avocado change color. Season with salt. I'm gonna mash it up. So avocado is done, set aside. Gonna need a few radish. Take off the stem and I'm gonna use mandarin slicer. If you don't have it, you can just use knife. Soak in the water so it doesn't dry out. And I'm using like here, instead of slicing with finger, when you slip it, I feel like a good chunk of finger will be gone. <laughs> but if you're using this part, it's like less damage on your hand. Cooking in a kitchen, it's like a battlefield. You have like bottle scars everywhere. Serrano pepper. The pepper, like jalapeno, serrano, any kinds of pepper. The spicy part is seeds and this white part called pith. If you don't like spicy, just remove those part and you're good to go. And set those aside. And a cucumber, cut it kind of long shape. You can use mandarin that I used earlier or you can use peeler for long ribbons. Okay, I've got all my vegetables ready. I'm gonna start with this rice. Use cucumber, wrap around it. Cucumber is a little bit wet, so it kind of sticks perfectly. Soy sauce, avocado, spicy tuna. I have radish. Top with caviar. Finish with chives. One well done. Before I play, I want to put this sweet soy underneath it. So it kind of gives a nice presentation. Sweet soy, cucumber, 
avocado, spicy tuna, salmon roll. Just design your own sushi and serrano pepper. And we are done! Mm. Very fancy. Welcome Jasmine for Thank Make you. It Fancy. Jasmine hosts this show called Giant Food Time. So this is opposite of giant it's food. Tiny food time. <laughs> Can you guess what I made fancy from? Can tuna? Yes. Oh, <laughs> so fancy looking. Yeah. Do you like canned tuna? I love canned tuna. Okay. Some people doesn't like it. I like it. A lot of people don't like it because yeah. they say it's too fishy, but that's kind of what I like about <laughs> it. Do you have a name for this dish? You can name. Do you want a name? Sexy tuna time. Sexy that's tuna better. time. Okay. <laughs> What part is sexy, you think? Oh, everything. Look at this glaze. It's mm. like so scrumptious, you know? <laughs> you just look at it and you're like, <laughs> Is okay. that weird? Yes. Okay, Jasmine, have fun with this. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so fancy, so delicious. Yay! Make, Make it, it fancy. fancy. Okay, Kali. Woo. Welcome to Make It Fancy! Oh, I'm so excited. You know I love to eat, so this is perfect for me. Yay! It definitely looks really fancy to me. I love detail, I love art. So I love like the brush, like the stroke of the sauce at the bottom, because I'm like, that's a lot of um, detail. Pick your favorite. Would you recommend eating it in one whole bite or bite by bite? I think bite by bite, because okay. it's quite big. Okay. Yeah. I'll catch it if anything. <laughs> Oh my god, this is delicious! Yay! Make, make it, it fancy. fancy! Thank you so much for watching and let us know what you want me to make fancy next time. Don't forget to dance, make it fancy!